And there have been other issues we have been dealing with too during these 20 years, like 377A, like the Tudong issue, which in the way we dealt with it, enable us to understand each other better and to accept each other's differences and respect each other and work out practical arrangements for that. But to say, after this, we can uh, fly solo. The government does need to, can take hands off the, the steering wheel or the controls and it, it will look after itself. I don't think so. Never. It's not possible. Because these issues are forever sensitive ones and you need to have limits to the discussion. You need to have the tone set by the government. And if we are going to have to take a, make a major move, for example, on Tudong for nurses or decriminalizing male homosexuality, if the government doesn't make it, it's not going to happen or it is going to happen in a very chaotic and very uh, contentious way. So I think that it's better for the government to guide it, allow more discussions, allow freer exchange of views, and you can allow more liberal practices too, but I think we have to handle this with very great care. Always.